I'm Amy. I studied computing at Abertay University and my project last year was designing a modular platform for high altitude balloon missions. I've always been fascinated by space. The high altitude balloons are the only way you can get something that kind of touches on space systems because it's kind of the same systems and satellites and balloons. Everyone kind of makes their own balloon, there's no pre-made solution, so you have to redevelop everything, you have to redo what everyone has done tens of times. So the idea was to do what they do in much, much bigger satellites. They don't go through the trouble of redesigning everything. And the idea was to bring that to high altitude balloons, to have a platform that already does the communications, the tracking, the making sure that all of your payloads are up and running and everything, and let people develop just their own experiments. Plug that in, write a few configuration files and launch. Right here you've got the flight computer. It just holds all of the codes that does the radio communication, getting the data from each of the science experiments, everything. Everything is collected from the payload into the flight computer and then sent through radio to the here at the computer, so with the antenna, and then my software that's here just then takes all of those bytes and tries to decode this protocol with packets and frames. So you can see, like you can hear the audio actually as it's being decoded. Decoding from audio to binary, and this is taking binary and actually decoding the science data that was sent. If you, the goal of your experiment with the kids is let's launch something to space, you don't want to lose half of the train to explain a computer science problem to them. But the idea is to actually lower the barrier, barrier to entry so that you can get more people interested in that field and even just discover and get, get a taste of what it is. Even if, even if you fail, you'll, you'll have learned a lot of, that, a lot of stuff.